My name is Jay Lopez and I'm the owner of Kleenex. Today I'm going to be walking you through how we clean a kitchen exhaust system in a restaurant. The purpose of a kitchen exhaust system is to extract the fumes from a kitchen in a commercial setting. In order to remove grease, you have to understand grease. What holds the oil together is the fat. And once the first layer is up, it becomes a magnet and it attracts more and more and more. Everything is clean from top to bottom. You would start cleaning the fan first. We're using a high-end degreaser with a little potassium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide. Those two chemicals combine create miracles in destroying the fat and the grease. In our case, we time it somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Once we see that the grease starts to melt, at that point we know we need to apply hot water and remove it. Because anything longer at that point is gonna to start to destroy the metal. Once the fan has been cleaned, the next step would be the dock. That's the part that connects the fan to the hood. This level is considered extreme. That was a fire waiting to happen. I would say this is about a year worth of grease. It all depends on the volume of cooking. If this is a moderate cooking, this is about a year's worth of grease. That's a lot. The dock is cleaned in a few different steps. During this process, we use a tool made by Guardian. This tool is known as the Easy Magnetic Duct Scraper. It has magnets set into the tool and a razor blade on each side. Once it's clinched to the dock, it is manually moved forward and backwards until the grease is removed. This forward and backward method assures that the grease buildup will be removed from both sides. It'll go from the yellow color all the way into the black. When it's in the black level, that's an extreme level. That means that the system has not been properly maintained. And these types of designs will use duct spinners and duct brushes. The duct spinner is designed to self-rotate within a protective cage and spray water at high speed, which dislodge buildup from the metal duct. We use a combination of a foaming agent and a degreaser. The foam is used as a delivering agent and it allows the degreaser to stay in contact with the grease for a longer period. If foam was not used, the degreaser would drip off the grease. The next step would be the hood and the filters. See, the filters are your first line of defense. What the filters is doing is holding back heat and it's holding back most of that grease. When the filters no longer can hold the grease, and once that grease starts getting heat and melting, you have the potential of that grease dropping into your food. And at that point, it's a health issue. I've seen restaurants been shut down by the health department for not cleaning their hood. I've seen restaurants been shut down by the fire marshal for not maintaining their hoods. We take precaution in protecting the area from contamination. We use two layers of plastic sheeting in order to protect the appliances from coming in contact with any chemical. The second layer of plastic sheeting is wrapped around the hood and then a funnel is created. The funnel is used to drain the chemical, grease, and water into the plastic containers. The plastic sheeting also serves as a protective barrier in preventing the chemical from coming in contact with the food preparation area. Once we're completed and the plastic sheeting is removed, we'll conduct a fresh water wipe down and recommend to the client that they do the same prior to preparing any food. According to NFPA 96, which is the agency that regulates this industry, the frequency of cleanings depends on the style of cooking you're conducting and the frequency of cooking. For example, if you cook with solid fuel, solid fuel is basically cooking with charcoal. Those are 30-day mandatory cleanings because they produce a lot more grease and the ambers that come from the silent fuel can ignite the grease. If you're an occasional cooking facility, those would be a year.